Cancer to your Astro Dice reading for April. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new? Welcome, welcome. And cross watchers, of course. Okay, let's see what's going on with you. And for those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month using only one of the 12 houses. So give us the best house, please, spirit. Best message, best house, please, or cancer. I've got some Aries, <clears throat> I'm sorry, some Mars energy coming through um, with some Capricorn energy into the 10th house. So going straight into that 10th house. Okay. So with that Aries energy over here, ooh going to be some rushing in. Your physical energy, drive, strength, and fighting spirit this month is really going to come out. It's like, whatever I want, I'm driving towards it. <laughs> Don't tell me I can't. Okay. So doing it with Capricorn energy. Wow, that's some hard working energy. Whatever you guys are doing over here in the 10th house, you guys are putting in some serious material, materialistic, hard working um, energy, right? I'm climbing this mountain. Don't tell me I'm not stopping for no one. Um, you're also going to be very cautious, though, right, as you're being ambitious to want to climb up the ladder, get this done, bringing that ultimate strength and drive through. Um, talking about the 10th house, the 10th house is talking about your achievements and status in the outside world. So whatever you are doing in the outside world, whatever you're trying to accomplish, those dreams, that job, that career, going to school, uh, maybe dealing with other people in the outside world as well. Um, you are really driving this, kind of like driving it right home, right? Really getting successful out there, really proving yourself to the outside world that this is where my strength is and I have the desire to do so. Nothing's going to stop me. Okay, getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. Like, what are you driving after? Some kind of success in the outside world. Obviously. For some of you, it's this loving man. You might have this person on the outside world. It could be um, internet-based. Uh, are you talking to someone on the internet? Um, I don't know. Social media. Something like that. That's also considered the outside world, right? Um, so it could be that you found this new love on social media, doing something socially on the outside. could be... You know, this person wanting to give you love or you wanting to give them love um, at work, somewhere, right? Maybe you found this person within the community, right? I go to Starbucks and I really, you know, like this person that works there or something like this nature. Take it how it resonates with you, but it's definitely somebody that's considered on the outside world. And maybe you're just, you know, single, single and mingling. Oh, yeah. Looking for this new beginning. Wow, new beginning, a new cycle going over here. Using up the courage. This person might even have the courage to want to come towards you for a new beginning, or you are trying to build the courage to go to this person for a new beginning. If you know that it's not you building the courage, then you know for a fact it's this person. So whoever you are mingling with on the outside world, um, get ready, guys, because they really want to come in and show you the love. Or, like I said, or you do. Building that courage, or maybe even building the courage to take their love, right? Not sure yet. Maybe it's a little early. Maybe they keep trying to bring you flowers, right? Okay, let's see what's going on over here with the loving man. It doesn't have to be a man. It could be a woman. It does look like whatever's going on over here, there is a new beginning where courage is really building within this relationship on the outside, outside world over here, so... Pretty soon, this person might end up in your fifth house. <laughs> oh, love and romance, right? Or the seventh house of partnerships and relationships. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Yeah. Looks like you're kind of waiting. You're kind of waiting. You're like looking out either for this person or they're waiting for you to come close to them. So 
if you're trying to build up the courage to go see them and you know that you need to, and it's so funny because it's talking about the 10th house of the outside world and here you are looking out in the world or they are looking out in the world. Because remember, energy kind of sparks together. So take it as, you know, either you or them. Put it in your own story on that one. As they're intertwining, the new world talks about, ooh, wow, passionate new beginnings. And, oh, or, <laughs> This is where the celebration begins. This new beginning is definitely all about this new celebration. It's all about this kind of homecoming feeling. Um, you guys are soulmate, and you know it's a soulmate connection. You're going to feel right at home. You might already feel like if you are soulmates or you know this is your twin flame, you might feel like you're already at home. They make you feel like you're at home. Your soul is at home, so it makes you feel kind of like, wow, you know? You could even be the kind of person you want to bring home to mom and dad, right? Come meet the family. And there could be some kind of celebration, though, that maybe you want to or they want to, you know, guys want to get together and maybe go to this party or um, go out, have drinks, do something. It feels more like a celebration, like we're going to go celebrate. If you're having a promotion and, you know, and you know that you like this person um, at work or something, maybe you guys are going to go together. I don't know. There's some kind of celebration going on is really what it feels like. Or it just feels like the two of us coming together is going to be a beautiful celebration. Four soul connection. Oh my God, you have the wheel of fortune. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the wheel of fortune over here is like, this is a good fortunate time. This is some kind of destined area within your life for you to meet this person. Um, you didn't meet them by chance, that's for sure. So whether you're on social media, out in the world, Starbucks, they come into your workplace from the outside, right? Maybe they deliver, maybe it's the person who delivers something, delivers packages or something to work. Um, you guys are just hitting it right off. But I do feel this, this is a soulmate connection. This is divinely set up. You guys were meant to meet each other um, one way or another. So it just feels like whoever needs to get closer, um, it just feels like it's just, it's still kind of distant. You see what I'm saying? It's still kind of distant. It's like, um, and if you're on social media or something, you guys might be really far away um, or the relationship just really hasn't gotten to the place yet. You see what I'm saying? To where we have uh, made it into a relationship relationship yet. But somebody definitely wants that. Maybe you both want it and it's just not really set up yet. Like being set up. It's definitely being set up um, with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so beautiful way to start that <laughs> to start April. Okay. <laughs> so kind of waiting for your ships to come in in its own way as you're kind of looking out at the world over here. You're waiting for this person to get closer or they're waiting for you. Or you're both shy and you're both waiting on each other. Could be dealing with an Aries, a Capricorn, uh, Sag uh, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cusp. And then, of course, the Wheel of Fortune could be anybody. <clears throat> So it could be just anyone, right? So in the mid-month, what do we got going on in the mid-month? Going through a beautiful transformation over here. It's saying that you're having this beautiful transformation within your life. Things are definitely changing for you. You feel like things are changing. You feel like, you know what, you have the drive and the strength to want to transform. And as you're going, things are, you know, transforming. And that's what I love about the drive and the strength over here is like, I'm not going to let you get away. <laughs> so I do feel it's it's you um, because of that drive and strength. It's just like, and I'm really working towards this celebration. I want this, and I really feel it's you, Cancer, who's really taking kind of the bull by the horns over here, really trying to move towards this person. Um, not saying that they're not moving towards you because we do have new supportive connections. You know, Leo just had this card. Um, if you guys are dealing with a Leo, uh, you might want to watch that video because they have Leo in their chart, right? Whether it's a Leo rising, right? But the Leo reading had that. So you could be dealing with Leo rising, uh, a lot of Leo in the chart, however. But they got new supportive connections as well. So this is transforming into a new supportive connection, something that this is what you wanted. So, you know, by going after what it is you truly want is really changing everything because it's like, you know, but it's so crazy because it's like you already, it was already destined and preset up for this to happen. Um, going up into the 10th house, bringing this together beautifully. Now you guys, you know, it's almost like what I had on the 10th house. I'm telling you, it's going to move right into the 5th house over here, my friends. 
right? And I'm actually getting two cards out for this, and it's called Taking Steps with Optimism. Wow. So the intentions over here are very stable, right? And there's a lot of optimism and taking the steps towards really learning about each other, really doing things with each other on the outside world. Now, you could be putting your hobbies together, and that's what Leo was doing. They were doing things together like painting classes or something of this nature. So you guys could definitely be doing some kind of out, um, outdoor activities, making, you know, um, new routines together like this kind of like a painting class or, you know, something like this, right? So it's kind of like making new routines. I really am picking up a lot of Leo vibe over here. You guys definitely could be dealing with a Leo or strong Leo in the chart. Um, okay, let's see what's going on over here. Underneath the transformation for the mid-month, please, Spirit, tell me what the drive is over here. You're just driving for this transformation. So it's like you know this is trans transforming into a beautiful relationship. And it's like you keep driving towards this beautiful relationship. You know, it's like we have the wisdom. I'm learning about this person. I'm really, you know, enjoying myself. Having the wisdom and the understanding as everything's coming to light for you through this beautiful transformation your intuition is probably very high your empathy you know as being empaths for a lot of you excuse me um as your you know uh intuition is opening up right you're starting to realize that the that this new connection is very supportive towards you and it makes you want to take more steps right so it's like you already have the strength and the drive now you're just taking more and it just feels like you guys are really lighthearted. You guys are having a lot of fun. Bam. King of Pentacles could also be dealing with a Taurus. I got Taurus now twice. So you could have Taurus, you know, they could have Taurus in their chart or be a Taurus. Um, you know, it just feels like this is where the abundance is. This person could be a wealthy person or this person could own their own job or, you know, they're very stable. And supportive but you know the king of pentacles is a very supportive um energy anyways right because they they like the um going out doing things nurturing the situations so you're going to find them very nurturing very loving um me as being taurus myself we do like the nurturing we do like the love look at that queen of cups that's you coming in saying, I understand, and I love the way that they're that they're loving me back. I love the way they're supporting me. I love the way that they're doing things for me. Um, and really looking at this cup over here as you're saying, this is where, you know, the love really begins. And it's, it's also talking about this new supportive connection, which is the Queen of Cups is new love. So it is definitely talking about how the, com the compassion is really, you know, um, you know, King of Pentacles over here, the Taurus energy over here, you know, that's Venus coming through. So there is going to feel like the two of you are just combining yourself very well. <clears throat> a Taurus and Cancer are a very um, compatible, a very compatible pair anyways. Um, we have to taking the baby steps, but it's so funny because it's like you're taking, it almost feels like, oh, it's either you or them. Either you're taking baby steps towards them oh, because you're rushing though. I feel like they're taking the steps towards you and you're rushing in. You're rushing in. It's you rushing in because you have that fighting spirit. So it's got to be you, Cancer. It's like they're taking the baby. Uh-oh. Didn't mean to do that. They're taking kind of like the the steps Taking the baby steps up, you know, as they're taking kind of baby steps, you're like, no, let's go. I'm ready to rock and roll. And this is because it's so positive. There's so much positivity. There's so much energy. There's so much compassion, romance. Um, it just feels like, yeah, absolutely getting the ace of swords. Look at that. It's like there's so much growth within this relationship so quickly. Um, and I do feel it's because it's soul, well, it's soulmate connection. You have the four of wands and the... Uh, Wheel of Fortune, so no matter what, it's soulmate connection. So it just feel like I said, like you guys are at home with each other, right? Very comfortable together. Um, so it just feels like you know the more compatible, uh, com 
compatible that you realize that you are with this person, the more it makes you want to race towards them, you know, and you have that fighting spirit and that's, you know, that's some quick, quick energy. You're like, let's go, let's go, you know, and it's almost feels like I said, it's almost like you, you want it to get to that next step, right? I told you this 10th house, I swear is going to go, this relationship is going to go straight to the fifth house of ro love and romance, right? 100. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Going straight into the end of the month. Yeah, and it's just like you really want this to just take off. You're ready to go. Look at that. Honoring the path at the end of the month. Seven, divine number. High, your higher self. There it is. Right underneath that too. Right underneath that Capricorn. Ooh. And what do we got? And the 10th house, please. The 10th house. I'll fight for the 10th house, please. Oh, we got the uh, sacred temple, but we also have the wheel of fortune. So like I said, it's already divinely set up anyways. So you, you know, like I said, you're going to feel like you're very at home because the two souls are going to feel like, you know what, this is meant to be right. And your higher self, you know, feels this and they feel that. And you have ascended masters as well. Like I said, being pushed together by the, um, by the divine and you have the reaching a milestone. Um, wow. Because nothing in the relationship has decreased. Nothing has decreased. If anything, it's all increasing. So this is like you're saying at the end of the month, wow, you know what? This this could really, you know, go into the fifth house because, yeah, see, increase. I just pulled it. See, everything's increasing, right? You don't have any decrease within this situation. If anything, you're planning the actions and taking more actions to increase the relationship because you're feeling, wow, this is crazy because, you know what, you'd figure... Uh, you know, I've gone out dating and I've done this and that and that and this. And after a while, it's like I'm rushing towards them and everything. But they have not done anything to me to make me feel like I'm losing them or that I have to wash my hands of them or they're doing anything deceitful to make me worry about them. If anything, I'm, a, you know, honoring my high road over here and really on the path over here. And, your, you know, your higher self knows it. It keeps pushing you, pushing you with all the divine over here. Very divine reading, my friends. Um, right? Like, wow. So you're really pushing over here and you're just, you know, there could have been something in your mind that the reason the decrease comes in is because you assume, well, I'm with people for about, you know, a couple months, you know, or weeks or whatever. They always do something to want to do something. So you were looking for something. It does feels like what, that's what it was. You were looking for something, you know, that they could do, but it's not, it's justified. It's balanced. This is the justice call. This is law and attraction. This is, you know, karmically done, like I said, because of the Wheel of Fortune. It's going this way off the Wheel of Fortune. This is definitely a divine interaction. And you have the Knight of Wands, and it just makes you want to keep fighting and keep pushing, right? Keeps you want to keep fighting and pushing because your higher self is like, let's go, 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 right? <clears throat> Absolutely. So, yeah, look, it's like everything you've ever manifested, everything that you wanted, within a person, right? On the sacred temple over here, you do have the sun card coming out. Best card in the whole deck to me, besides the ace of cups. And then after that, for me, is the star card. Uh, those are my cards, guys. But uh, the reason is because the sun over here is saying, this is a beautiful blessing and it's soul tied. We see the sun as being the soul, right? And we know that it's all soul tied because you have the higher self, the wheel of fortune. You know, uh, we have the sacred temple plus the ascended master. So it's definitely being pushed together right definitely being pushed together by the uh the divine wow absolutely and then you have the justice over here where it's like it's karmically justified everything's justified and fair honoring this path is justified and fair for you to be able to move at the speed you want to with the knight of wands so it's like you move really fast right really, really fast, or they start coming at you really, really fast, right? I mean, because if anything, maybe you're just still being the Knight of Wands. Could be a possibility, right? But uh, you'll know when that time comes, if they're moving faster than you, um, right? Yeah, and then you have the Knight of Cups with the Ten of Cups, and there it is, going straight into that fifth house. Just like I said, they're going to offer this love to you. They're going to rush in at you just as you're rushing at them, and then you're going to have the Ten of Cups. 
So rainbow blessings will, of course, because we have the sun. The sun makes the rainbow. <laughs> Excuse me. And then has the Knight of Cups where they're telling you how much they truly, please take my cup of love. Now I don't want to just have a new supportive connection. Now I want love from you. So now they're actually asking you to be their lover. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Gotta love that. You can only imagine, you know, like I said, you can feel that going straight to that house, guys. Okay. So, very beautiful reading. Until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.